Hey lovelies and welcome to Stephanie Reacts to I'm Not Okay With This Season 1 Episode 5 Another Day in Paradise I think it's called this chick Yep, Another Day in Paradise Ooh. I love, I'm starting to love this programme I think the last episode was Stand By Me I had made a wee joke about it, but it's that, the form stand by me I did, but it was nothing like that. It wasn't, didn't even play the song stand by me or anything. So yeah. And, I think it was like Stan, trying to get, Sid, Sydney, I said, Sydney, or Sid, to use her powers at a bowling alley, I think it was. She turned, this, your hair's, no, I think you're ugly and your skill work is boring and things and she's and let's talk about your father oh there she blew up she did she's seen two bone balls rising and boom and the wall oh <gasps> wow <laughs> and I think we saw his, his father too give him a black eye we never actually saw his father doing that but yeah one minute it was alright, next minute he, he, his dad's car's crashed because he's Sydney and his father was angry at him because he crashed the car the next minute you see him a black eye so his father gives him a black eye and poor wee guy it's not a wee guy but it's about Sid, Sid, Sydney's age he is but ugh, I feel sorry for him he's in bad after your own father I don't know why he could have like maybe blocked or push his dad back. We never got to see it happen. But I don't know if he defended himself or no, or whatever. So another day in paradise. Try to think what that could mean. Paradise means peaceful, calm and whatever. But as we've seen in the last few episodes, they'll be in paradise. Sydney is learned to use her powers and things are getting blown up left, right, and center <laughs> and stuff. Oh, so let's jump into this and see what it's all about then, everyone. Starting now. Here we go. Dear diary, I'm just gonna put my head down, do nothing, no, she's in say nothing. It's the only way to make sure I don't hurt anyone. Just blend into the Ugh. fucking background. She's getting scared, I think. Eyes on your tests. No uh, talking. No cheating. Talking means cheating. Even you're not cheating. It's this ain't nanny to talk to you, but to the teacher. You could be changing, telling people your answers. Brad the douche face, isn't it? Oh. Hey. How's it hanging? It's hanging. And uh, how are you today, sir? You call you cheating? Dino always says you're funny. I guess I've just never really seen it before. Dino? I don't know. It's not Dino. She's no dinosaur for your fun stones. It'd be better if you and I got along. <laughs> what? For Dina. You could just cut me a little slack here. I promise you. I'm not a total monster. Cheers. No. Don't. So shaking your hands with the devil. For Dina. Who's this? Wait. It's the last of that party I think went to it. Jenny. Got detention too? Got caught vaping in the teacher's lounge. This place is like a goddamn monastery. What are you doing in the teacher's lounge anyway? Alright. Everyone take a seat. Now, 
Hurry. Yeah, all right. Now you five students are here for one reason. Disrespect. You have disrespected this <laughs> institution. Just done face. You have disrespected yourselves. Four of you have never even seen in detention before. Skin him a finger. I want you to take the next few hours. I just don't see it. Just don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pushing says buttons. You know why I do that, eh? I just wanted to rage on Jenny. Ah, be kind of you, Wanted to rage on Brad. Who is he kidding with that truce? But I know if I rage. Earlier when you got him, Stan. I, I got that mistake. Of, which is just. No, I should say Stan from something, something else. That means I don't. Ooh, is she getting angry again or something? The powers? I doubt you don't hear that music, eh? Hey? Usually hear that music when she does it. Is she in the purse? This? It's not funny. Oh, does this know her? So, I'm just turning the lights right now to try to spook her. Probably. Yeah. Is that a chewing gum from under the bleachers? Is that just normal chewing gum? Oh, yeah, Brad. It's no harm, it's doing it. Oh, no, Stan's no harm, it's doing it either. You just told Stan you know what I told him, who you want him. Stan, I need your help. Okay. So you're talking. Listen. Oh. Wow, interesting. Stan, seriously, shut up and follow me right now. So that Jenny lassie? Or Dina? Hey Dina. Hey. Hey Dina. 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 Go for something else. <laughs> Embarrassing her. Have you a tampon? <laughs> Somebody can I say something? Or... Wait, we need your help getting the keys to the principal's office. So we can steal some security camera footage. Well, at least you're telling the truth. And you're serious? Um... Why? What's on the tape? What'd you guys do? Well, the truth is... She didn't get the other truth. Stand we don't even know the... It's in the library, and it's, it's all on tape. What? Really? No way. Dead serious. It was right there in the library. We 69 and everything. <laughs> Once we're in, we head straight for the security system. The fireplace. And that's it. Oh, it's coming back. And they're stuck. I'm guessing this is another scenario then. Do, do not panic. Do not bail. Or we are screwed. Okay, but what happens if your plan goes to shit? It won't. But what if it does? Improvise. You got damn all for this shit. So is this happening or no? Or is this now you're coming? And if all goes well, as it should, we grab the footage, our sex capade remains private, and nobody gets expelled. Sex capade, you never had sex. Oh, that actually happened then. Holy shit, we did it. Oh. Thank you guys. Seriously. Nah, you saved uh, my powers. Have you seen it? Any takers? You're not serious. That's all. Oh, come on, Dina. Everyone's doing it. Don't you want to be cool like me and Stan? That's <laughs> <laughs> the first time she's said smoke. Especially drugs.
<laughs> oh, he's in the lassie's toilets. Tell me, is it um, is it against the rules that you cheated on your girlfriend at Ricky Gary's party? Shut up. Listen, every night it was a mistake. <laughs> Dude, you came twice. How was twice a mistake? I had to troll through Instagram waiting for you to get hard again. Say another oh. You understand me? <gasps> Too late. She knew I said it was there. Hey, Sid. I heard everything. Huh? Um... That's what she sees it for. She set him up. Remember, we, we both agreed that Dina's happiness comes first. Well, technically, Brad comes first. Just... <laughs> Sid, please. You won't say anything to Dina. Too late. Hey, babe. There you are. But is that a gym place? Is that toilets? Who's the so, toilets? Uh, but then you lockers. I just came in here to pee, and and now we're. The last he's locker room. Chilling. Yes, that be true. The music thing. It's not funny. I don't know. I, I it just felt like someone else was in there with me. Ooh, a shadow moving. What do you mean? I mean, it felt like I was supposed to follow it, or maybe it was following me. Ooh. So she got scared and blew up the exit. Maybe. I don't know. I just couldn't make it. Six like smoke or gas. I turned a corner, and it was gone. But there was this feeling, Stan. I swear I wasn't Sorry, Bryce. Oh! Ouch! So, what the hell was it? I wish I fucking knew. Yeah. Just then, yeah. So lovelies. That was another day in paradise. Hmm. Paradise. We never got to see anything in paradise unless it was a sarcastic sign, a saying, another day in paradise. Or paradise. And all hands about the shit. As we see, all of them. No, that's the whole shit, but the kind of main cast of them all get put in detention. And they had to throw in a random person to so it can make it look like a normal detention thing. So we threw in that last I think it was from last episode or two episodes ago. Jenny. Because we heard them talk about like she could put in jail for stealing or drinking or whatever. Uh, but a juvie, I think it was. So you seen her there in detention, but the Dina, she did, she didn't deserve detention. She never. Brad was like Dina, Dina. Then she, she moved, she moved her answers over to him, so he could cheat off her. So she did cheat by letting him see her answers. But then he was like. So noticeful, no, no, noticeable, like, keep looking over, see just doing, but you keep the focus, just look at the eye over there, and try look in the rain, right, or if you could do it, do it fast, don't keep this like that, writing, the teacher caught him, what a douchebag, Brad douchebag dickhead, I think that's what I called him last time, oh, so, Brad and Dina got detention. Said they stood up for Dina. So she didn't deserve it and all that. And Brad's the one who should be detention or she'd be studying whatever it studying. I forget when Sid says to the teacher to get her detention. Maybe it was just this outblast of shouting at the teacher. 
But then we saw Stan. <laughs> the books. And I was like, really? That won't get his attention, it won't. That'll just get you. People thinking, you're an attention seeker. But then, to the teacher. Motherfucker. <laughs> Brad. No, Brad, sorry. Stan. Oh. Isn't to be with Sid. He really fancies how he does. Oh. <sighs> and Sid really fancies him. But there's a minute. She doesn't even want to talk to him. I think she's still in a bad mood with him for the last episode with the bowling alley. I think she is. So Skip said, stay away from me, stay away from me, I don't to talk to you and stuff. But as soon as something happened in the library. Stan, Stan! Stan! Come here, Stan! If you don't want to talk to him, why call him over? That's what we heard Stan says, too. I thought you didn't want to talk to me. And you don't want to be anywhere near me. So it's only like, she only wants Stan whenever she needs him. It's no when he needs her, isn't it? So that's no fear for the guy. It's not. Like, He's only wanted or needed when she needs them. It's not right. It should be like a two-way thing. It should be like if he needs her and she needs him, then I will just if she needs him. But as soon as they arrived at the library, they saw it all dismantled all the books everywhere. Even if you did have to try to put the library back together. The books are supposed to be alphabeticalized, kind of thing. How do you know what book goes where? Well, the books are all scattered together. In which shelf for the books go in? No. But, what I didn't expect. The camera. I didn't think a library would have cameras. That would be supposed to be a silent place, like. And need cameras on it. But you're supposed to steal a book. If, you, if there, there won't be any money in the cash register, end of the night, doesn't matter if it's a library or not, you take the money with you at the end of the night and put it in a safety deposit bank or something. So, yeah. What's it? I'm supposed to put it in a safety deposit bank or that. So, why do you need a camera for the library? But as soon as they've they done it, they seen the camera, they said we need somebody with bibs. I was like, you have got bibs? And he called me Dina. 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 I need a tampon. <laughs> oh, Sydney. You went, you had to go there, didn't you? And Dina said, just to get a bag. But as he said, said he's two friends are coming here. Son. Dina, I really need you, come on, help me. So, she actually told Dina the truth, said they did. I said to Dina. Mm. But she never told her the full truth. She done how what happened. What did you do the footage for? We had sex. <laughs> we had sex in the library. Then Stan made it worse. Yes, we had sex to Dina and stuff. What? Really? How embarrassing saying that? You had sex in the library. If you, you should know the school as they do, so you should know it had camera, so you know you know it had sex in it. But now so you're a rule breaker. Oh, then Brad, just raised a kid. Before all this, we'll make us pack for, for dinner, sake. Well, try to be friends for her and stuff. Said done. Right. Hold on, if you shake your hand, you're shaking your hand with the devil. Yeah. So, ooh, she never shaked hands. But as soon as she told Dina, we never got to see it though. As soon as she told Dina about Brad cheating with that lassie Jenny, she's, Dina stormed out and Brad done. This is all on you. Next step, 
You should watch your back. You should. Oh. Never. Ever. Threaten somebody with powers. Even he does not know she's got powers. Don't threaten somebody with powers. How is he supposed to get revenge on her or something? Maybe embarrass her? Or that? Because he can't be a, he can't hit her. If he does, then he'll be branded a booming, a booming beater, you would. So, how is he supposed to do this? Or maybe he's got to make Dina fault there? Try to Dina back and get Dina to fault there? But that brutal trick, when they first done it, to get the, ca the, the camera thing back, you just put the Britos in the microwave, blow it up, then the first time was the scenario done. They could get caught with this. The teacher's coming back and Dina. <laughs> and they all run away. Then they jump back to them talking about it. Done. Really? That was a scenario. I thought it was something new. Then you had like a second scenario. You're like talking and all that. So you do this, you do this, and it was, they them seen him doing it, but them talking about it. And then, next thing you know, it actually came true, I don't. So this is not a scenario. So it's like one of the ones just all talking about it and you didn't at the same time. Ooh. Yeah. And Dina with the janitor. I show her boobs off and all that. I'm gay and I'm married. And Dina would probably say, Okay. Awkward. That's what she's probably thinking to us herself. But who was in that library with Sid? Like, when she was playing to stand at the end there, she saw like smoke flying past. Not. This was charmed. I would say that that's a demon or anything. But this is like the real world. Kinda like the real world. But we said had powers. But anyway, it's all like smoke. Moving about like four here to go up one aisle, down the aisle, and up another aisle, and that. And said was just getting scared and scared and scared. She just threw all the books, shattered them all. Uh, we didn't know what it was, we don't. And so everyone, next episode, like father, like daughter, hmm, it's like the other way he's saying, like father, like son, or like mother, like daughter, like the father walks with mechanics, just say, then he quits, the son walks with mechanics, like father, like son, but father, like daughter, or well, father's dead, Sydney's father's dead, so... Maybe Sydney's? No, Sydney. Sydney's father's dead. Maybe Dina's father? Or Dina? I thought I, I called her Dino by mistake. That was Brad Dushface, the kid. It was. So maybe Dina's father? Like father like daughter? Hmm. I'm trying to think what kind of person Dina is and how her father could impact her. There's no Stan, Stan's a guy, Brad's a douche face, and Dina, and it says father's dead. So it has to be about Dina. So everyone, well thanks for watching this reaction. Have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Whenever time you're watching us at, stay safe, look after your families. Thanks for watching us, and everyone. I'll see you soon. The next one. Bye, everyone.